Joe, you gonna miss us? We're going for the weekend. Oh, okay, I guess not. Hi, you're watching Neural Nick in real life. Where I show you clips and pictures of my actual real life. Welcome. So I'm here chilling in a skeleton Halloween onesie. I hope you're not too turned on by that. Actual size boob. Last weekend, we went to Las Vegas and it was one of the most breathtaking experiences I've ever had. I don't wanna to explain too much, so we'll just jump into it. Hi, good morning. We're going to Vegas today. Get ready, let's go. Look who we found in Las Vegas! Hola. This is Tiffany and Casey. In case you didn't know, you should go check out their channel. Um, or you've seen them on JK News or JK Party or JK Films. Yeah. Or, yeah, the field, or all the different or branding networks. Field. So we're going to a festival tonight called the Rise Festival and you like make a bunch of wishes and put your lanterns in the air and then your wishes come true, I think. I think that's how it works. And there's music playing. We have to believe. And there's drink. This is Steve's first time renting a car. I'm how do you 30, feel? I'm 32. How do you feel? I feel like I'm 32 and I haven't rented a car. <laughs> what are you allowed to do at 25, right? Uh, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, you waited almost a decade to rent a car. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Hey, your first time doing but it was, was uh, yeah, in Maryland. Yeah, I know, so, like, so I did it ago, first. Asshole. And also, I'm not 32. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's fine, honey. It took you a long time to get your license anyway. So Fuck you're off. pretty much. This like is over. Time. Time. <laughs> the Rise Festival is this music filled festival, and you basically write down your intentions on these lanterns and then they have two launches of lanterns going into the air and basically putting all that like love and light and happiness energy into the air. And for those of you who are concerned about the environmental aspect, like the fire hazards or litter or anything like that, I did a lot of research before going to this event and this particular one is in the middle of the Mojave Desert so there's nothing but dirt, rocks, and sand forever. So there's not no fire hazards. Also, the lanterns are biodegradable materials and they're customized so that they don't burn for a long time meaning they don't go up really high up into the sky and then land somewhere far away they're meant to only last in the sky for about 15 minutes and then they fall down in the area that they went up in. there's a giant cleanup crew that comes in and they make sure that every single bag is picked up including any litter that was there before the event even started their motto is to leave it better than they came to it with I fucked up their motto but it's something you get the point we got invited by our friends Jess and Joe who were already in Vegas when we got there. The event started at three, but we didn't get there until a lot later. So I copy pasted the address into maps and we somehow passed it by 30 miles. So we might make it just in time to see the lanterns fly. I thought we were gonna have like five hours of us like chilling and drinking beers and eating and stuff, but no, 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 no. We ended up at an Indian reservation high school. And it was not, definitely not the right place. But at least we've been bonding this whole time. That's yeah, but we've bonding. been bonding. Yeah, yeah that's right, we've Tiffany. We've been talking like for a whole hour. Yeah, okay. and Casey lost his ID at the yeah. airport in Beautiful. Vegas. Beautiful. Yeah, no, this <laughs> trip is Bobby. great so far. We are having the best time. Nick, this is a great start. Nick, 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 Nick. Yeah. If that was me right now, if I was sitting where you're sitting, yeah. and I had fucked up on the directions right now, you'd be dead. I'd be dead, right? You'd be a dead man. I'm so glad we agreed. I would be dead right now, <laughs> and Nikki probably would give me the silent treatment for the next three hours, easily. And yep. then maybe during the, the lantern part where they're lifting him up in the air, she would give my leg a squeeze. Yeah, but you know what? That's like a word ship. I'm dead to me right now. I understand. <laughs> oh, no. so you're not talking to yourself right now. Yeah. I get it. I get I'm it. pissed right now. Yeah. If we didn't have people in the car. No, and no, I'm just, no, you have no idea no, how glad I, I am. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Hell yeah, I would internally combust. No, seriously, thank you. I would yell out the window guys. right now. Oh, she'd so be screaming from the top mad. of her lungs right now. So you are lucky. And she'd be like, <laughs> God damn it. And she'd be moshing in here and shit. I'd be kicking shit. Because she moshes when she gets angry, she just starts moshing around. But I like, I want to make a really good impression, so. Sure. Oh, thanks. Yeah. But don't mind us. No, no, okay. we can help. Okay. Some are good and some So we made it. That's the moon, dude. Whoa, that's so cool. That's the moon. That's it's rising. Dude, it looks so much cooler in real life than it does on this camera. 
Yeah, it does. It always does. It like a street light. Yeah, it does. So originally when we bought these tickets, it was in August, but by the time we actually got there to Vegas, a terrible, horrific event happened that week. I'm sure you're all aware of the mass shooting that took place at Mandalay Bay. That happened five days before we got there. So the first launch was dedicated to all of the victims and their families and anyone who was affected by the event. And it was just breathtaking. It was one of the most beautiful, emotional experiences that I've ever seen. So I always wondered why you just left and said goodbye Cause nothing can compare to you it was pure love and light energy and just that coming together as one. I know that sounds really cheesy, but it felt like what what everyone needed at that time. Just made it made me really really happy and emotional and I was keeping it light and jokey, we all were, but it was just so so powerful and awesome. So we didn't write our intentions down in time to light the first lantern release. Just as cool as the second time as it is the first time. See, it's so much better this way. It's so much more fun. Right, 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 right. right, right, right. We bonded, we had bonding time. Yeah, that whole extra good hour of Because these people, they didn't get any bonding time driving two hours in a car, so. <laughs> we did though. Yeah, we, we were doing it right. And then the second launch was dedicated to your own intentions for your life, just what do you want to either let go of or what do you want to send into the world that's positive. That one we actually got to participate in and um, it was just really fun just with our own friends helping each other like light these lanterns and put them up into the air. my bank account. <laughs> one you for know. the universe, one Just for keeping her. Keeping it real, keeping it real. Keeping it honest. And a million yeah. dollars in my bank account. Yeah, baby. There it is. So good and so bad. So happy, so sad. So She knows everything about paper lantern intention making. <laughs> Your intentions are gonna come true, Corinne! Do it right! <laughs> Good morning, well, good afternoon, it's 1.30. Uh, but good morning, I just woke up, it's our first day in Vegas, and I looked outside, this is my first time looking at our view from the hotel, and what a great view, right? Sick, but look, I don't know if you can see it, but a plane made hearts in the sky. Heart plus heart, love plus love, can you see it? It's camera, stop ruining this moment! We're kind of fading right now, but like, it was really pretty. And also, right underneath that is this sign that says love. There's a Beatles show that we're gonna go to and it's called Love. So I'm fucking, fuck yeah. Las Vegas strong. Screw you, evil. So then, the rest of the trip, we were just in Vegas because, like I said, we planned this back in August, so no uh, tragic events had happened yet, and so we thought, like, oh, we'll go to this event, and then we'll spend the weekend in Vegas and party. But when it actually came down to spending the weekend in Vegas, it wasn't really a party atmosphere. We tried to make the most of it. We went gambling to no avail. We also went to the Wynn Buffet, which I had heard a lot about. It, apparently, it's, like, one of the best buffets in Vegas, so that was cool. They had an 
amazing dessert selection. I love that like in a group of other oh, vloggers. Yeah, so you don't feel bad when There's you do it? There's multiple people going like this. <laughs> Worth the win, I've never been here before, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful hotel. It looks like they're shining everywhere. Okay, bad example, but it looks like, okay, it looks like they're shining in other places. Why are you being so sexual with that candy apple? Ah. We just walked like three miles to the Circus oh Circus. Oh my god. Here we go, baby. We're gonna do this. This bitch. You gotta do that karaoke, baby. Here we go. Here she, go. Said, she said it was across the street. Literally it was down. three miles away. Literally 0.37 miles away. It feels after, good after a buffet. After eating a buffet. Yeah, we just walked me. up the entire buffet. Yeah, we did. The entire thing. Cal we're yeah, calorie yeah. even. I have all this food yeah, in my yeah. butt. Hi, it's our last night in Vegas and we're gonna go see a show. We should be crawling in the show. You ready for the with show? The, with all the money we lost, we should be crawling in the show. <laughs> no, it well, might never matter. We didn't lose any money, but... <laughs> That's right, babe. Is part of the secret denial? Like... I don't know. Like, if we deny that we lost any money, did we yeah, lose money? Yeah, that's not bad. That's you know? Because I don't want to think any negative thoughts about how we lost money. It will make it true. That's a very good point. We I probably like didn't lose any money. You're right. I don't think we did. No, we didn't lose any money. Our subconscious lost money. Honey, stop it. The secret's gonna hear you. So we're headed to a, a, a Beatles show. I've heard a lot about it. Never, ne oh, I've actually, sorry, that was a lie. I've never heard anything about it until you I came on this tour. Really? No. But, but you've never been to a Cirque du Soleil show either, right? No, I've never been to any shows in Vegas because my husband never takes me to shows in Vegas, apparently. Right, right That was only right. for his, all his ex-girlfriends got to see shows in Vegas. I never got to see a show in Vegas. <laughs> I didn't take my exes to shows in Vegas. <laughs> they took you? The rich parents took us. You did take me to Britney in Vegas a couple yeah, years ago. Yeah, I did. Thank you for the memory. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. I gave that one to you. I could have oh, kept I, it. I, sorry, I took you to Eminem in New York too. What a freaking douche. That's not a Vegas show. And I took you to Eminem. That's not a Vegas show. You can't start counting those. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's count. That's not a Vegas show. He plays show. in Vegas. All right. So there you go. All right, cool. cool. That's a pretty good point. So we're headed. I've only heard good things about this show, so I'm really excited for it. Hopefully it's not overhyped. $50 drinks. Well, they were like 15 combined. It was all right. It was not, maybe not for us. Maybe we would have seen Brittany again. No, seriously, it was, it was good. <laughs> I feel like a mom that tried to tell her kid that her play was good. I liked the songs. I'm just making this worse. Okay, so then on the final day before our plane ride back home, we decided to make a trip to the memorial just to like pay our respects to everyone involved with the shooting. And wow. Um, you're up in the sky, I'll carry you home, home to the mountain near. And soon, my friend, you'll see them again. But won't you left behind? I feel like we've gotten to a point where we've become kind of desensitized to mass shootings because. Unfortunately, they happen multiple times a year now. I mean, it's sad to hear, oh, there's been a mass shooting and people died. It's really sad to hear that. But when you actually go there and you see their faces with their names, pictures of them with their families, it just makes it so tangible and real and personal. And this one really kind of got to me more than other ones, not to diminish any other mass shootings, just this one in particular. Um, I've, you know, as Las Vegas is a city that I've, I go to frequently. My cousin was there the night of the shooting. It could have easily been one, one of his pictures on the memorial. It could have easily been one of our pictures on one of the crosses. Like, how many times have you, you gone to a music festival? I went on Facebook, like, the day after it happened, and a mutual friend of mine 
was one of the victims. I went, I clicked on the, the link to his page and one of the most recent posts was one from his girlfriend and basically she talked about how he was so loving and affectionate and just cared so much for all of his friends and family and that was that he was the reason that she was alive because he took her to safety before getting shot and there were pictures of them from before the event started um, so like they're just like in country music t-shirts and holding a beer and it's like God, how many times has it been like you're the one holding a beer and wearing t-shirts and you take a picture and you post it on Facebook like that it just made it so 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 real and being there at that particular memorial site just really got me like in a big way I just got overwhelmed with emotion I'm happy that we went it made me so much more grateful to be alive and grateful for our friends that we got to be there with and for my husband that is next to me. It just really made me grateful for every moment that you get to spend with your loved ones. And this neural is much more serious than other neurals and I don't plan that. That's just how it happened. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. A lot of this, um, a lot of the footage that I got was taken by my friend Joe. His channel is youtube.com slash donation TV. He did an amazing, beautiful video of the memorial and, uh, it's posted on his channel. He also like just makes really beautiful content in general. So go over there, subscribe. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check that out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this and I will see you next time. Like, damn.